Dun, 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 dun. All right, so I've been doing the low carb thing to change things up while cutting, and lately I've been craving brownies like crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. Side note, yes, I'm one of the 13 people in the world who chooses to lean out during winter. Don't ask. If you're one of those same people, show me some love in the comments below so we can do this thing together. Anyways, brownies. Today we're gonna remix them into another low carb option for your diet arsenal. Diet arsenal sounds pretty corny. Somewhere someone is booing for that. Diet option probably works better. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you would have said. Roll the intro. <laughs> This recipe is super easy. And all you need is three bowls and something to mix your ingredients with. Start with a large bowl and add in four tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate chips that you're gonna melt. To melt it as quick as possible, just stir it in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds at a time and stir it until it's smooth. Another option here is to use a lower sugar, dark, bittersweet, or whatever chocolate you prefer. Continue with two large eggs, a fourth a cup of a sweetener, one tablespoon of melted butter, a fourth a cup of unsweetened applesauce, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix those together. Next, take out another bowl and another mix way. together in that one, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, half a cup of almond flour, two tablespoons of coconut flour, one scoop of my baking protein powder, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth a teaspoon of salt. Add that mix into your large bowl and lightly mix them together. Coat a baking dish or pan with some non-stick cooking spray and pour three-fourths of your mix into it. Smooth it out, then take out a small bowl. In that and small bowl, one. mix together eight ounces of fat-free cream cheese, two tablespoons of a sweetener, half a scoop of my baking protein powder, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Spread that mix over your brownie mix and then add on top of that the fourth of your brownie mix you left off to the side. I prefer to cut everything in with a knife for the swirl effect, but you don't have to. Last, bake your brownies on 325 for 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted into the middle. First and foremost, with the ingredients that I used here, the total net carbs is only 70 grams for all of them. How do they taste? Well, Now I'm probably gonna go eat the rest of them. So thank you guys for watching. Slap that thumbs up button if you like the recipe. It helps me figure out which recipes to do more of. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And of course, stay healthy. Okay.